Hi, this is Shubham Agarwal. I'm an intern currently studying in Ames, New Delhi. And uh, I would like to share that I got third rank in the Ames November PG entrance this year. And here I am to uh, discuss with you the various options that are available after you complete your MBBS. So uh, after MBBS, basic most of us uh, are uh, tend to prepare for the PG entrance, that is the Ames PG entrance, NEET, PGI, JIPMER, and other various exams. But all of us know that there are very few seats available in all of these institutes, and the number of aspirants for uh, an MD MS course are much much more than those than the number of seats there are. So I would like to discuss the various other options uh, aspirants can go to go through go for and. Uh, so basically, apart from uh, doing an MD or MS, you can also go for a DNB course, uh, which is a shorter course and uh, it is also uh, much similar, although the degree uh, is a little, uh, the degree is basically a diploma rather than MD and MS. And uh, you can also go uh, to US or UK, there are separate exams for that. Like for US, you have the USMLE exam and the USMLE exam is uh, taken in uh, three steps. And uh, the steps basically are uh, testing your uh, knowledge, the subjects that you study through MBBS only. Step one and is basically for first and second professional. It corresponds to that. And uh, step two is uh, asking the clinical, uh, basically the clinical knowledge and the clinical subjects. That is what it assesses. And then we have the step two uh, that assesses the clinical skills. And uh, apart from that, we can also uh, try for the uh, examinations that. Uh, are in various other uh, uh, countries like uh, in various European countries or uh, in uh, Indonesia. There are many other options for that. And uh, for UK, I'd like to say that there's an exam called PLAB. So we can try for that also. And there are various uh, institutes that help us prepare for these entrance examinations also. Like we have the Kaplan's and the Becker's Institute. And uh, certain coaching institutes have also come up that help us prepare better for these exams. Apart from going into a life as a medico, you can also go into hospital administration as an option. And I've seen many people going into that and that is also a very lucrative field. And uh, we can also uh, go for uh, civil services. Uh, there are many people here in Ames, at least there's at least two, three people in every batch that tend to go for the civil services. And that is also a wonderful field to choose after uh, you have completed your MBBS. I would like to add two more things basically which are options available if you are not able to crack the PG entrance examination. Basically you can work as a non-ACAD JR which is also called as a house job here in Ames. So uh, based on the uh, marks you have obtained in the PG entrance examination, uh, you can apply for a house job in different uh, departments in Ames and it's a very nice experience you have, if, you have, if you somehow were not able to crack the MBBS entrance exam of Ames, you will get some experience as to how as to as to the know-hows and the working of various departments of AIMS. So it is a very good option. It is a uh, paid job, so you are getting a, a decent enough salary and uh, you can simultaneously prepare for the examination also while uh, working. So uh, that I feel is a very good option. I would also like to add that uh, we can also work at various government hospitals if someone is not uh, preparing for entrance at that time and directly wants to work at a hospital. So uh, working at a government hospital also gives you a good experience. There's always a shortage of doctors at such hospitals because uh, there's always a shortage of manpower in the medical field. And uh, if someone wants, they can also go for rural service, working at uh, various district hospitals, sub-district hospitals, or primary health center, that is a very good experience. We currently, I'm having my rural posting and internship, so it, it was basically a very good experience that I had seeing patients firsthand. So in the end, I would like to say that these are the various options that are available to a doctor who's just completed MBBS. And uh, I hope you benefited from my uh, interview. Uh, kindly subscribe to Daily Knowledge Track. And if you have any questions, please ask in the comment section. I'll gladly answer your queries. Thank you so much and all the best to all future aspirants. Thank you.